ones you got to take out, the more stressed you are. Developing tonight, that stress may not be as bad for all Central PA College students. Tuition rates being frozen for some. But that's not the case everywhere. Tonight, we're taking a closer look at the cost of higher education in the Commonwealth. And CBS 21's Elise Person live at Shippensburg University with those new numbers. Elise. Well, Joel D, today Pashi voted to continue freezing tuition at state schools like Shippensburg University here for the fifth year in a row. Now listen to this. If Pashi had not frozen tuition and it kept up with rates of inflation, the cost to go to schools like Shippensburg here would be 21% higher. But even with that being said, the state says there's still more to be done to make college affordable. It just gets really expensive really fast. The cost of higher education in Pennsylvania. How are we going to pay this off? How much are we going to have to pay off? How long do we have to get a job that can afford to pay this off? For those in state related schools like Pitt and Temple, the cost is going up. In fact, Penn State University just raised tuition by 2% on Thursday. Unfortunately, it puts students in a balancing act of um, what they can do to be able to access the education at those institutions. But for those in Pashi State Schools, a tuition freeze unanimously passed on Thursday is keeping tuition at $7,716 for another academic year, with technology fees frozen as well. Because we're public universities, our mission is to serve all of Pennsylvania, and we serve disproportionately uh, low and middle income students. The half a decade long tuition freeze at Pashi schools has played a major role in students pockets. By holding tuition flat, we've actually delivered our students a 17 percent uh, reduction in cost in inflation adjusted dollars. It's really nice to know that I don't have to pull like more loans out. I'm already pulling so many loans out for my tuition here. Pashi has done so without the massive endowments maintained by uh, Penn State Temple and Pitt. State related universities should look at efforts Pashi schools have made to keep down costs. Certainly we do not want to see the tuition going up and up, but we also understand. Overall though, students are still navigating high costs and heavy loans. Personally, I've already taken out about $10,000 of loans and being an 18 year old, that's kind of stressful knowing that I still have about almost four years left. Because this is money that like we don't have. Like I don't know any 19 year old that just walks around with 15,000 plus in their bank account. Like the fact that I know I have to pay that off over time is so large to me. Again, the vote by Pashi just came down today to freeze that tuition for another year. But I spoke with some students at Shippensburg University today, and they told me it is such a relief to know that at least for the next year, they're not going to have to pay anymore. Live at Shippensburg University, Elise Person, CBS 21 News.